السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. Hello everyone. Uh, this video for graph description. I want all of you to get ready for the uh, midterm exam. Uh, I will start with the, some top tips for writing graph description. The first tip, please, students, don't forget that we have three uh, paragraphs. We have three paragraphs, introductory, body, and conclusion. For the first paragraph, which is the introductory, it should be short. It should simply say what the chart shows and where and when it describes. So we refer to the title, the title of the graph description. Usually we find that in the question. And we must look at the graph to know about the location and about the time. If there is something referring to the scale or to the key, please try to describe in the first paragraph. The second tip, I want all of you to avoid repeating words in the question. Don't repeat the words as they are in the question. Instead, try to use your words, but these words should have the same or similar meanings. In the body, which is highly important for all of you to describe the trends you can see, use numbers from the chart. And in the conclusion, you must sum up, highlight the most important things the information shows you can also say what's likely to happen in the future. Now, I will try to give you an example. For a graph description. This is an example. It's an example for bar chart. And as you can see in this bar chart, it shows the amount of money spent on two types of electronic items in a country, country X, any country. You are asked to summarize the information in the chart by selecting and reporting the main features. And please don't forget to make comparisons where relevant. So when we look at this chart, we will find that we have uh, two axes, the X axis and the Y axis. The Y axis for the, for the sales, the X axis for the years. Sales, of course, here, sales for the computers and smartphones. And we have a scale here. The scale is million dollars. So the 10 here, it means 10 million dollars, 20, 20 million dollars, 30, 30 million dollars, 40, 40 million dollars, and 50, 50 million dollars. And here the comparison will be between 2011, 2012, 2013, 2014, and 2015. And we have two colors, one gray and one purple, light purple. So the gray for the computers and the light verbal for the smartphones. So now we know everything about the graph description. We know the title. When we go up, scroll up, we will know that it describes what the amount of money is spent on two types of electronic time items. These two types are computers and the smartphones. Okay, and now we know what the x-axis refers to and what the y-axis represents. Even the colors, the keys, we know the keys here, the first color for computers, the second color for smartphones.
How can we write it? This is for the introductory. The chart gives information about how much money was spent on computers and smartphones in any country between the year 2011 and 2015. So this is a very short introduction. And when we look at it, it's only one sentence. Is it accepted? No problem. But if you ask my opinion, we can add something related to the scale. The sales are, are in million dollars. The scales are in million dollars. For the body, we have to refer to the trends. Where are the high and the low trends? According to the chart, there were upward trends. Let's go back, go up, sorry, to see where are the upward trends in spending uh, on both items. The first item we will find here is the highest, here in 2015. Even for the second item, also 2015, the highest, the highest. The, high, the highest amount of money is spent on these sales. So according to the chart, there were upward trends in spending on both items. Computer sales increased steadily by five billion, by, by five million dollars each year. Computer sales. When we go back, we will find that computer sales here 30, 2011, 2012. It will be 35. 2013, 40. 2014, 45. 2015, 50. So here the increase is steady. It increases steadily. Steadily, it means the amount is fixed. Doesn't change. It's $5 million between one year and next year and another year. So here the first sentence again, computer, I'm sorry, the second sentence in the body, computer sales increased steadily, okay? By $5 million each year. What about the smartphones? Smartphones, let's look here. We will find that 2011, the same like 2012, the same like 2013, no change. So what can I say in English? I will say it remained level. Look here at this sentence, smartphones, smartphone sales remain level. Remain level, it means it doesn't, it didn't change. Smartphone sales remained level at $10 million until 2013. Yes, 2011, it was $10 million. 2012, it was $10 million. 2013, it was $10 million. So it remained, it remained level. It remained level at $10 million until 2013. So what, what happened in 2014? Oh, it increased steadily? No, it increased. It increased what? It increased dramatically. Dramatically, because here the increase was from 10 to 30. It's $20 million. So here, it increased dramatically, reaching $45 million. Even in 2015, look at 2015, it increased from 30 till 45 in 2015. So the increase here is dramatic. It's not steady. Although they are still less than the value of computer sales, they are only $5 million behind. This is the comparison, another comparison between the sales of computer and the sales of the smartphones. Computers is still, of course, computer is still higher, still higher, okay? But the smartphones in 2014 and 2015 increased rapidly, increased dramatically. So it could be in 2000. 16 and in 2017, it could be more than the sales of computer, but we don't have these years in the graph. For the conclusion, I'm sorry, there's another, another information here. People's total expenditure 
expenditure is the money, the money spent, the money spent on these electronic devices rose dramatically in this period. The total was $40 million in 2011, and it rose to $95 million in 2015. Let's go back here. 2011, it was 30 for computer and 10 for smartphones. So the total of sales in 2011 was 40. The total of sales in 2011 was 40. What about the total of sales? This is another comparison, Shabab. Don't forget it, please. The total uh, of sales in 2015 for the computers, 50. And for the smartphones, 45. So it's 95. Oh, it's a big, actually, difference. There is a big increase. In 2015, it reached up to 95. While it was in 2011, it was only just 40. So this is another important comparison between the total sales in 2011 and 2015. The total expenditure on these electronic devices rose dramatically. The total was $40 million in 2011, and it rose to $95 million in 2015. In the conclusion, in the conclusion, I can start with uh, phrases or or transition words that could be used at the beginning of the conclusion, like in sum, in conclusion, overall, in brief. Here, we will use overall. Don't forget to use the comma. The comma is necessary. The sales of both of these items grew. Yes, both of them grew. But the smartphone sales grew more quickly. Yes, because you know. Uh, for the computers, for the computer sales grew, but steadily, not quickly. Five million dollars every year. If these trends continue, we can expect, as I told you previously, smartphone sales to overtake computer sales in 2016 or soon after 2017, 2018. So this was just an example. I hope it could help you in your preparation for the midterm of writing graph description. Thanks for all of you and see you later.